Hi, Sharon, Martin, Eddie, and Helen. It's Tom and Gina Wills. We're, we're thinking of you almost every moment of the day, and you're all in our prayers. We just want you to know how much we love you. We're sending prayers of love and thanksgiving and gratitude for having you as a friend. You have meant the world to us. We love you, Sharon. God bless you. Hey, Sharon. Christy and I send all our love, tons of hugs. Every day walking into the newsroom was a joy when I saw your face. Know that your love, your smiles, and your songs always live on right here. Always. I love you. Hey, Sharon, it's Rebecca Berry. I want to tell you I love you and how special you make everyone feel from the moment they walk into Channel 4 and you taught them their ways and gave them a tour as an intern to never having a bad day. You never once in the 14 years I worked with you had a crossword or made anyone feel bad. And that's what people remember is how you made them feel. And I just want you to know how special you made all of us feel. We love you so much. Hey, Sharon, it's Ashley Harding here. I wanted to reach out to you and just let you know you are an amazing person. You are such a fighter and my gosh, you are so missed in our newsroom every day. I can honestly tell you our morning show, the environment just does not feel the same without you. You are constantly with us though. We talk about you. We share memories and stories of having you right there with us every step of the way. and. You're truly a light in our newsroom. From the time I started there seven years ago, you were just you were just right there showing me how much you care, how you wanted me to improve. You, in many ways, were like a mentor. I don't know if I ever properly shared that with you or articulated that to you, but it's the truth. And you're missed every day, and we just love you so much, and we know how brave you are and how you continue to be so brave and you're inspiring us all, all the time. We love you, and we just wish the best for you no matter what, and stay strong. And in many ways, you keep us strong. Hey, Sharon, it's Crystal Moyer, now Crystal Moyer Brown. You were at my wedding when I married Robert. I just wanted to say I miss you so much. I miss you so much. You have been such a light in my life when I started at Channel 4. Um, you were the first one to take me under your wing and you were so kind to me. You always checked up on me and I will never forget that. I appreciated every moment that I've had with you and I am just so sorry that this happened to you and I know you're holding on and I don't want you to be in pain but just know that we are all with you here all of us you know I know I've moved to Orlando and I work for a different station now but we are all thinking of you we are all Sharon songbirds and we love you hey Sharon this is Robert Brown here in Orlando Crystal and I are working at News 6 just want to check in and tell you that we love you and we're thinking about you you know one of my fondest memories when I think about TV is when I started at Channel 4 and I remember you were one of the nicest sweetest people to me even though I didn't exactly know what I was doing you were always very kind and teaching and you know I will try to do that during my career and uh, I think it's worked out so far so again thank you um, and we love you and we're thinking about you. Just wanted to um, take a moment I haven't seen you in a few months used to see you every day as you were ending your shift and I was usually starting mine it was always great to interact with you in those few moments smile and laugh and uh, kind of hear about your day and what you had uh, moving forward. It's always a blessing to, to talk to you and to hear your outlook on things. I know I haven't seen you in a while. I know um, things may not be ideal right now, but I just wanted to say I miss you. I think about you all the time and I'm praying for you and your family. Hey Sharon, it's Cheryl Mullins here. I want you to know that I think about you very often these days and want you to know that every time I do think of you, it puts a smile on my face. I certainly hope that you are staying safe and healthy these days and know that I miss you very much. Take care. Hey Sharon, this is Vicki Pierre. Just a quick message just to show some love and let you know that I love you. I'm praying for you. You have been such a blessing to me and to many and I'm so thankful for you. Sharon, wish you were here to help answer the phones. It's been nuts. We could really use a uh, funny song about the coronavirus. 
Listen, you keep up the good fight and we'll talk again. Take care. Hey Sharon, it's Carrie Ann. Um, as you can tell, I'm working from home, but I wanted to um, send you a message and say how much I love you and how everybody's um, sending their good wishes, vibes, prayers your way. Um, I just wanted to let you know you've had a huge impact in my life um, in helping mold me in the workplace. And as a person, you've taught me to never give up um, and keep fighting. Um, and that's what I want you to do. Um, I miss your songs and I miss your voice. And I wanted to let you know that I love you very much. Hello, my good friend, Sharon. It's uh, your buddy, Dan. You say, I always make you laugh and I hope I can just make you smile right now. Um, I know this is a tough time for you, but Mary Lou and I send our love. We're thinking of you. You know, we're just one of the many, many people, thousands for sure, who uh, feel the same way about you. You're such a wonderful person. And again, we're thinking of you and we love you. Take care. Hey, Sharon, it's Pauline here sending you some love because you were always the one to do that for everyone else. Um, I remember when I was feeling a little sick before my wedding, you were really concerned and you told me to take a Z pack and you were really adamant about it, but that's just because you were always so caring. Um, so I just want to let you know that I miss you and I'm thinking about you. Hey Sharon, just wanted to say I love you and miss you and hope you're doing well. Gosh, I've known you for more than 30 years and you've always been the same loving, caring, and supportive person. Gosh, I think about you all the time and wish you well. Love you and proud to call you my friend. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, beautiful Sharon. It's me, Stacy. I'm just out here sitting at the vet because they won't let me inside waiting for my dog to get his teeth rechecked. I love you. I miss you. I miss your jokes. I miss your singing. I'm so glad Martin is there with you. Hi, Martin. We love you too. Take very good care, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Mwah. Hey, Miss Sharon, it's Zach, and your favorite, furriest, four-legged friend, Mr. Sully. Say hello. Say hello to Miss Sharon. Say hello. Say hello. He's being shy right now. Sully, say hello. Say hello. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we are thinking of you and that we wanted to remind you of your bravery. I was reflecting on some of our moments together and just really the presence you've had in my life over the course of the past two years. And you are such a bright light for so many people. And your bravery for yourself and for your family and for your colleagues that you've called your family members has been so much appreciated and admired. I have um, so much respect for you and I am so thankful for how kind and thoughtful you have been to me since meeting you. We're thinking of you and we love you and big hugs from afar. Hi Sharon, it's Elizabeth Campbell or Elizabeth Martin and with me is Campbell. She says hi. She just woke up from a nap, had her bottle, hopefully is in a good mood. And so we just wanted to tell you hello and that we are constantly thinking about you. I love you and I miss you so much. I would give anything to see your face because, you know, there have been some bad days in the last few weeks with everything going on. And anytime I'm upset or feeling down, I always think of you and your singing or your smile um, and it helps me feel better. I just remember any time in the newsroom I could be having the worst morning and you would have no idea but you still somehow would find a way to give me a compliment whether on my dress or my story the day before and you just always know how to brighten my day. And I am so glad that you were able to spend some time with Campbell not too long ago. Um, she hopes that we get to see you again real soon. And I also just really quickly, I know we love to gossip about The Bachelor. I don't think you watched the last season from what I remember from last time we talked. But I just want to tell you, even though you missed it, you didn't really miss anything at all. That Peter, I can just hear you now uh, saying he needs to man up and start making some decisions on his own because, yes, he acted like a little boy and he had a 
very dramatic, silly season, and I, oh, I would love to chat with you about it. Um, but we are thinking of you and love you, miss you. You are such an inspiration to me and so many others, and I am going to continue praying for you, and I hope and pray that we get to talk to you soon and, of course, see you again. Love you lots. Good morning, Sharon. It's Rhonda, and I know you'll excuse me for the way I look, but we are all hunkered down in isolation. And, oh my gosh, Sharon, I've thought of you so many times, and I've still prayed for you, and I've kept, kept kind of updated with Elizabeth. But I just want to tell you how special you are to me, and from the time that I met you, and... Elizabeth told me about the bond she had with you. I knew what a special person you were. And I love you and I wish the best for you. And I pray that you're not hurting or any pain and that you know how many people care about you. And um, I know that you miss your husband. And so, Knowing that one of these days we'll all be reunited with our loved ones brings us hope and brings us peace. But please know that this woman in Flowery Branch cares about you and loves you and hopes that you're doing better. And hopefully I'll see you when I get through all this isolation. I love you, Sharon. Bye-bye. Hi, Sharon. This is Erica Rako. Just wanted to let you know I am thinking of you and I miss you always. I especially laugh and certainly miss the conversations we used to have often about you telling me I needed to help you find Martin, a nice, young, beautiful Jewish woman to settle down with. And I assure you he will have no problem with that if he doesn't already have one in his back pocket. I also want to wish you and Martin both a very happy Passover. I miss you lots and I'm sending you all the positive vibes in the universe that I can send you. Love you. Hey Sharon, this is Beth Meckley. Uh, I'm at home. I've been working at home the last few weeks and uh, I just wanted to say hi. I've been thinking about you and uh, I've missed your smiling face. I hope you're well. Hi Sharon, we love you. Hey Sharon, it's Corley. I just want to let you know that you are so loved and that I miss you. You're always our biggest cheerleader and motivator and I just want to send you all of the positive vibes and let you know that I'm thinking of you and praying for you every single day. Hey Sharon, it's Michelle Ash and Peggy Sue. She's right here. We're all thinking about you. We miss you at the office. We love you. And I'm sorry Peggy Sue looks terrible. She needs a grooming. She, I hope that Doggy DHS doesn't give me a call. Anyway, I hope to see you once the coast is clear. And just know that we love you and miss you. Bye-bye. Hi, Sharon. It's Melanie. Leia. And Noah. And we have a song for you. Sharon, Sharon is our favorite, favorite girl, girl. Favorite girl. Favorite girl. Sharon is our favorite girl and we love her so. Sharon is our favorite girl, favorite girl, favorite girl. Sharon is our favorite girl, and Sharon is her name. Oh, we love you. Hi, Sharon. It's Buffy Dom here. Um, you'd probably recognize me as that bright red-headed child that would come in from my second day as a blonde and then later a red, come in on that back door, and everybody kind of looks in the direction of salespeople, and they don't always say hello or smile, but you always smiled and said good morning and always made me feel great. I thank you for that a lot. I wish you a lot of love and a lot of prayer and blessings. We'll be thinking about you. We love you. Hey Sharon, it's Vic Mick. You hired me, you inspired me, you continue to amaze me. You are not a coworker or a friend, you are family for me. You're a second mother and uh, you mean the world to me. I love you to the moon and back. I will always appreciate what you have done in my life and you are so very special your family is amazing and i truly just care and love you hi sharon this is allison henning i'm here in sarasota now i'm on day three of my new job with wfla out of tampa and i just want to say thank you to you i owe you a huge thank you for all of the love and support you've given me throughout this transition over the last several months 
Uh, I'm channeling all of your positive energy and happy and bright spirit during this time and I'm sending you all of my love. I just wanted to tell you that I miss you and I love you. Hey Sharon, Ashley Spicer here. Just wanted to say thank you for all the years of being more than just a manager, but being a friend and a mentor. You were always so patient, even when you didn't have to be. Your love and kindness will never be forgotten.